Lyme disease, which is spread by deer ticks, affects not only people, but also our four-legged friends. And while cats don't often show symptoms, their risk for Lyme can increase the longer they spend outdoors. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story from Jefferson. Tina White runs a retail nursery with more than 100 varieties of daylilies. When she's out among the flowers, Fluffy is always close by. You want to go back in the house? Fluffy is a 14-year-old Maine Coon cat. After bringing her home from the shelter, Tina trained Fluffy to go outdoors. All I had to do was stand at the front door and say, let's go out to the gardens. And she comes running and waits for me to put her harness on. Then, after Fluffy was outside on a warm day last October, Tina found several embedded ticks. I didn't really think much of it because I'd always been told cats don't get Lyme disease. Within days, Fluffy had a fever, no energy, and even stopped eating. Their vet treated her for an upper respiratory infection, but she continued to go downhill. So Fluffy underwent a test for Lyme, which to everyone's surprise, came back positive. And his eyes were really big and he said, the test isn't even done running and she's already off the charts. Have you seen any ticks on him? Dr. Julia Lucas is a veterinarian and pathologist who practices at the Cumberland Animal Clinic. She says cats are generally not considered at risk for Lyme because they're highly resistant to infections, but there are rare exceptions. We know that you know, specific cats with uh, you know, certain immune system challenges might be vulnerable. Uh, this is not typical or normal. Experts say the signs to look out for are fever, lethargy, lack of appetite, and stiffness and swelling in muscles and joints. If treated properly, cats have a good chance at a full recovery. Now, if your cat spends any time outdoors, vets recommend using a topical preventative on your cat that targets not only fleas, but ticks and parasites as well, or an oral prescription depending on what your veterinarian says. And it's really important that people uh, part the skin and get it directly on the skin. Fluffy made a full recovery after being on an antibiotic doxycycline for 30 days. And Tina also makes sure that her beloved cat is on a topical preventative throughout the tick season. In Jefferson, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Now, experts say that keeping your cat indoors can make them less at risk for Lyme disease. Another reminder, tacks are, t cats rather, are highly sensitive to permethrin. That's a tick repellent that is approved by the FDA but should not be used on cats. We've got more information on how to keep your pets safe. Just go to our website and our mobile app.